the big NVIDIA Grok with a Q. Grok with a Q. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be licensing that technology for about $20 billion. Grok is a company that we've known here on the show for a long time. Um, your friend, Sonny Mandra, uh, used to host um, some AI stuff with us, and he's going to yeah. be part of the deal, going over to NVIDIA, about $20 billion. The idea is that they will have a non-exclusive licensing agreement for Grok's inference technology, which is a fancy way to say that they're going to get to use what Grok has built to handle AI inference, Jason, which is not training. Instead, it's what AI does when you ask it a question. Yeah. So it's a huge deal. Uh, and I said, we're going to start seeing some very big deals in 2026. And here yeah. is the first of the very big deals. This is a $20 billion deal. You know, anything above 10 billion is a, is a, you know, significant M and a deal. Uh, anything under 10 billion is, you know, a single or double, but this is the home run category of exits. I was an investor in Sunny Madras company. Uh, Sandeep Madras company, Definitive, which was acquired. He became, I think, essentially the president mm -hmm. and head of developer relations over at Grok. They did fabulously well since he you know, joined. He was a real accelerant. And now they're going to be part of this. It's one of these licensing deals, which makes it go pretty quick. The existing company will still be there. You license it. We've seen this over and over again. Yep. Uh, character AI. Scale AI and scale AI. AI. And inflection, inflection was the one bought by Microsoft. Scale was bought by Facebook Meta, mm -hmm. if I have all my memory correct. So this is a new way of doing deals. What's great about these deals? When you do a licensing deal, you get to sell the company, and it just happens immediately. You know, you, you stroke the pen, and you're off to the races. So this is going to become one of the preferred reasons to do it. Now there were people who speculated here on this program that maybe this was a way to get around the FTC. Uh, and regulatory approval, which the FTC themselves, I believe, put a note out that, hey, under Lena Khan, we're looking at this. We, we kind of see what you're doing over there. You know, today, <laughs> I think the whole concept is don't worry about it. Um, this is just a way to go faster. Now, there are tax implications because you're not buying a share in the company. You're and so then you have to pay a different tax treatment, I believe. Not a long-term capital gain to be more like ordinary income, sounds like? Probably is okay. how this works out. I don't know that definitively in this case or the others, but uh, I will eventually know that because we were investors at my firm in I was gonna uh, say. definitive. Yeah, right. And so, you know, I don't know if we'll get a 10X, a 20X or something like that, uh, but it'll be a nice little bank for us. It's not gonna be a fund returner, because again, Definitive was bought by Grok and then Grok had this incredible accelerant. But in a short period of time, you know, you'll take a, a 20X in a three year, if that's what it winds up being for us, or a 10X. You know, we'll take it. And remember I talked about on previous programs, ad infinitum, uh, if I'm using that correctly, yeah. you know, uh, till I was blue in the face, basically. It, we need these singles and doubles to keep the venture space vibrant. And this will be great for me as, an L, as a GP, to send yeah. a distribution to our LPs. This is not a double though, Jason, it's $20 billion. And you know, we had everyone from social capital leading the series A and B, we had, you know, D1 and Tiger and the B1 and C addition, alumni ventures, you. This has to be like a home run, right? I mean, $20 billion. Oh yeah, Ho it's Grand Slam. Okay. Oh, okay, Grand got Slam. It, got it. Yeah, I would say Who Grand Slam. Anything over 10, anything in the billions is a home run typically, depending on when yeah. you got on the train. If you were the last round, no, but for everybody else, it should be a home run. Anything above 10 billion is the grand slam category for me. <clears throat> now for us, it'll wind up being a 20X for a seed fund. You know, for us, that's a home run, right. not a grand slam. Because in our funds, we will have 300 names, 300 companies in our yeah. fund. Whereas a typical venture fund that's doing series A has 30 names in it. So each name represents 3% of the fund in ours. Each name represents, you know, 30 or 50 basis points of the fund, which means we need a 200 X to have a fund returner. Yes. If you just do the back of the envelope math. So a fund returner for uh, a seed fund or a venture fund that has 30 names in it, 40 names in it tends to be a 30 or, you know, a 40 X, something like that 50 X you can return the whole fund. For us, we need a, we have a higher benchmark. So we spread more bets, we get in earlier, lower valuations and hope for the best. Launching a new company is all about finding your first customers and then just learning how to solve their problems. And that is going to put you on a relentless pace. And that means you're gonna be releasing new products and features, hopefully at a brisk 
pace or better. But my lord, the complexities of working with AI, it's going to slow your developers down. You're going to have to install new GPU drivers. They're going to be provisioning clusters. All of this detail-oriented, labor-intensive work can distract you from working on the thing that you're building, your product. But now there's Crusoe. They are the AI factory that worries about your backend so you can focus on your code. And their hardware has been designed specifically for AI development, so they're going to make sure that your models run with unparalleled performance every time. Head to crusoe.ai slash build to apply and receive $100,000 in credits for virtualized NVIDIA GB200 NVL72 on Crusoe Cloud. Pending availability, okay? That's C-R-U-S-O-E dot AI slash build to apply and get those $100,000 in credits.